Good afternoon from Kentucky. This is Ron here, Cross of Christ Ministries. And what I've got for you today is a little bit different for me. Uh, I usually do not mix government issues and biblical issues. But whenever God tells me to do so, I do do that. So this is one of those rare occasions whenever I pretty much think that he has told me to do so. Uh, this is a my pocket constitution that I carry with me daily. Uh, I live by it as much as I can as long as it agrees with what I truly live by, which is the King James 1611 Bible, the Holy Bible, the Word of God, the one that will stand as the truth when the world is on fire. So, I'm going to start this off with the preface that I saw and talked with someone who said they were not subject to the laws of the state of Kentucky. Now, in Kentucky, when you tell the state of Kentucky, or the Commonwealth of Kentucky, if you would, that they're not in charge of the roads and the highways and the ordinances and the KRSs, Kentucky Revised Statutes, uh, that they pass by the legislature, and that we all live by, when you tell them that, you're like throwing a red flag up in the front of these old country boys that uh, believe first the Word and then the Constitution. And indeed, no right in the Constitution is absolute. It's always talking about if it proves to be uh, unfounded, untrue, that you can change it through your elected officials, but not through overthrow of the government. But anyhow and any way, this right here, you can stretch it and you can draw it out into unhealthy extremes which is what I witnessed and what, which is what I talked with with the young man about. He says the laws of Kentucky do not bind him because he is an indigenous citizen, human being. Not a man. He tries to split things up into all different kinds of terminology. And... I don't know, but on the inside cover of my Constitution, we have some of the founding fathers from the Federalist Papers that saw fit to write this. If angels were to govern men, neither external nor internal controls on government would be necessary. In framing a government which is to be administered by men over men, the great difficulty lies in this. You must first enable the government to control the governed, and in the next place, oblige it to control itself. And it's under the authorship of Alexander Hamilton, John Jay, and former President James Madison. So it's pretty clear that this is a human work trying to do what's best for the largest number of the citizens of the United States of America as a whole, not the very individual individual way that the young man presented it to me 
he told me that uh, the police work for him. Well, maybe in one sense they do work for him as a part of the collective governed, but he says he's a taxpayer. I don't know if he pays any taxes or not. My personal opinion is that he probably gets a rebate back from the government every year and don't pay any taxes, but other than that, payroll taxes maybe, I don't know. But I always go back to the Word, and when I took him back to First Peter 2, we find out this is what God says. Beginning chapter 2, verse 11. Dearly beloved, I beseech you, doesn't just have a conversation. He beseeches. He asks you to understand. He tries to present it with authority to you. As strangers and pilgrims abstain from fresh fleshly lusts which war against the soul. Having your conversation or manner of living, if you want to go back and look up what that word conversation means, Among the Gentiles, that whereas they speak against you as evildoers, that they may be, that they may by your good works, which they shall behold, glorify God in the day of visitation. God will visit every man. Doesn't matter who you are. Doesn't matter what your sin is. God's going to come to you, and he's going to ask you to get right. He's going to ask you to follow this word. Not just any old word, but this word. So Brother Dake has down here under the heading of Christian relationship to rulers. What are we supposed to do? Submit yourselves to every ordinance of man. Ordinance of man. Whether that's KRS, whether that's the Constitution, whether that's some local infraction or uh, inaction, whatever it is, submit yourselves to every ordinance of man for the Lord's sake, whether it be to the king, the government, as supreme, or unto governors, rulers of smaller dominion, such as the states, as unto them that are sent by him for the punishment of evildoers and for the praise of them that do well. For so is the will of God that with well-doing ye may put to silence the ignorance of foolish men as free and not using your liberty for a cloak of maliciousness which is what I find on YouTube, a whole lot of these uh, frauditors going around to these papal, people in these offices uh, trying to create scenes to uh, grab viewership. I uh, personally think that uh, YouTube ought to demonetize their channels if they, if they keep on doing it. As free and not using your liberty for a cloak of maliciousness, but as the servants of God, honoring all men, love the brotherhood, fear God, honor the king. So you're supposed to give honor to whom honor is due, the king. Now the government has been instituted among men by God. It's here, whether good or bad, it's here because God allows it to be here. God sanction it to be here. So you can say all you want to, that you're indigenous to this land, but you're not really. You're indigenous through Adam who came through God, Adam and Eve, and their procreation is where we all came from today. No big me's, no little you's. You can go back to the treaties of the Moors and all of this crap that you want to. 
it's not going to do you any good because this is what they go by in the duly constituted United States government. You might say you're not a citizen, but if you're out there driving around on public transportation routes, uh, driving a vehicle that doesn't carry any insurance on it, oops, sorry, matter of conveyance, not vehicle. They don't like that word vehicle. This boy didn't. So if you're out there driving around, you don't have a tag on it, and you got one in your window that says no tax, no commerce, no tag. That's not going to work. They're going to pull you over here in Kentucky, and if you fail to identify yourself, which has a lot of people do, from what I understand from this boy, that it's growing, that a lot of people do decide not to do that, well, they take you to jail, and then they tow your car in, and then you spend time in jail till uh, a bail is set on you, or they release you on your own recognizance, and uh, or somebody comes, picks you up, and takes you out, because you're not driving that car till you get a license and insurance, and you have it registered and paying tax on that vehicle. So, I tried to tell this young man that he's spitting in the wind. But, some people's got to find out themselves. But he did say he would study this out, which is my opinion. And then I told him what my daddy told me at 16 when I got my driver's license. Many, many years ago, daddy told me, he said, son, if a policeman pulls you over, you stop. Only thing out of your mouth should be, yes, sir. Maybe a rare, no, sir. But you make sure you have your driver's license. You make sure you have your insurance card. And you make sure your registration is in the glove box. Because if you don't, when you get home, you and I are going to have a problem and then we operate by my rules. We don't go by this Constitution. So he told me, you're never going to win with that police officer at that point in time. Now, if you got a problem or you didn't do what they said you do and you got proof of it, well, then you take it to court and you might win in court if your argument is good enough. But this... Uh, Sovereign citizen crap ain't going to fly. It's just gibberish. It's just foolishness. So do yourself a favor. Follow God. Follow the Constitution. And follow the laws of the land. I just felt I should bring this forward to somebody today. Uh, I don't know who's going to see this, but... Uh, I prayed to God, uh, are you sure you want me to bring this forward? Yeah. So here it is. It's out here. Now my ch channel is very small. It's not very big. Don't have too many followers or anything like that. But uh, I'm going to put it on YouTube too. And I'm going to put it on Facebook. So uh, we love you here in Kentucky. But... For God's sake, follow the laws of the land. Show you got some common sense, please. We love you. God bless you. Get into your word. Study your word. Show yourself approved unto God. God bless you.